Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube? Y'all already know the deal, we're the boys. For those that don't know, this is Classic and Sincere's big cousin, Roro. She has been advocating for the boys since day one on behalf of her and the biological family, which the adoptive parents have not been heard since December 23rd when they did that interview. They have not did uh, no birthday parties. They have not even came out and said happy birthday. So salute to Roro and the biological family for basically doing what they're supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? And then at the same time, um, doing all this while getting blamed by other people for having these boys, which wouldn't quite make sense. You know, like they're doing all these activities and spreading awareness for these boys bring to bring them home safely and to also get justice. They're at a park in Bakersfield. So, it's Sincere's fifth birthday party, you guys. So they're out there celebrating the biological family role. And uh, um, I'm pretty sure a couple friends and supporters all came together to make this happen. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video and see what they got going on. Shout out to Ro and the biological family once again. Much love and respect, y'all. Thank you all for the birthday wishes. Hey, sissies. Hey, everybody. Thank, thank you, Megan. I love y'all, too. Like I do. Thank y'all for supporting, man. Hey, uh, one thing for certain, two things for sure about Ro. She always been bust down with the boys from the face mask, you know, t-shirt, or whatever. But and then she always kept it real. You know, 100 when it came to these boys, man. Solid one. Kids are, you know, they, they like to get in things, but they, they this park, I guess they found a knife way over there by the bushes. It was playing, about to just play, hiding from each other, but you know, you gotta be careful. But they know not to touch nothing. That's one thing, you know what I mean? So, um, thank you, Jen. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you, everybody. As soon as I get off, I can thank you all. Um, it won't let me. my phone, every time I try to scroll up, it like goes fast, so I miss everything. But yeah, this is my shirt, man. Hold on, let me take my charger out of my pocket, because you know, I've been having that. But my shirt. That whore. Yeah, that's hard right there. Yeah, I'm going to need me one of them. Got my chain. Boys, thank you, Yeah, for those that don't know, that's what I mean by bust down with the boys, like you know, face mask, necklace, t shirt. That's you know, bust down. <laughs> that's what's up, bro. All the way from uh, New York, and my mask, Keisha, and the shirt, Keisha. You feel me? But you know, just man, you know, we we. We trying our best to, you know, keep our heads held high. I mean, there's so much going on. Like, man, 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 only if y'all knew, man. But, hey, um, you know, things are, hey, Stephanie. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, I am so grateful for Duty Ron, you know what I mean? For reaching out to the BPD about the, the Echo Search because they, the the founder of that, um, actually was on Duty Ron's um, uh, YouTube channel. And he did a live, you know, and um, so he was on the YouTube channel. They was talking about the Summer Wild little girl who's missing. Okay, for those that don't know, Duty Ron is a a, a retired police officer, NYPD. And he has been, son, chill out. My bad, I got my son with me. You, are, you know how them father duties go. But um, he has been on the Oren and Orson case. He has covered, he has donated and raised a lot of money towards the case, billboards and, you know, things of that nature. And Equal Search is a, a, a search group based off of volunteers that has a lot of equipment, all-terrain vehicles, submarines, and just all type of equipment to help assist on cases. Prayers for her family as well. You know, and the, and the little boy who just became missing, the five-year-old, I forgot his name, I, I seen it, but 
You know, I've been having a lot on my mind lately. Um, you know, prayers for him and his family. Hope they find them both. And uh, hope they call my little cousin. Um, also, I should have said this earlier when I mentioned Duty Ron. Summer Wells is a child, uh, um, a young child that has came up missing out of Tennessee, I believe. And she is still missing. And I believe Equal Search assisted or is assisting in her investigation. And I do not know um, about this young boy that she's speaking on that came up missing, but prayers for all these kids and their safe return home. You know, we're just trying to keep our heads up, man. Like, you know, not too many, you know, too many answers. Like, we don't have answers, you know. We have a thousand questions, but no answers, you know what I mean? So, that Duty Ron did reach out to the BPD, him, you know, him, him being a retired detective. And to see him, you know, to see him, you know, get denied and all that. Or not him, but just him speaking on behalf of the episodes. They was ready, y'all. They was ready to get out here. They got all the research, uh, resources, the, the tools you need, the, the equipment, the, the everything. Like, they got everything. But, you know, uh, obviously, BPD don't need their help. I mean, I don't see why. I mean, we need every help, all hands. Like, you know, every resource. We need all of that because it's seven months, man. Seven months, you know, they, they missed their birthday, you know. They're not here with us, you know. <sighs> it could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. The bad thing will be it's really corruption going on. The good thing could be that they already know what's going on and they may be close to, you know, finding something out or closing the case and, you know, bringing these people to justice and they don't want it to be altered by anybody else or because, you know, they just may not need the help. Hopefully that's what it is. Um, for them to just deny such a, uh, you know, a major search group like that, there has to be something behind it. Uh, so we're just going to pray for the best. You know, I'm praying for the best. And hopefully that's that's what it is. It has to be that, man. I, I mean, jeez. Because for them just to deny assistance that, you know, with these all-terrain vehicles and all these stuff, they will be able to go in water these lakes around here and, you know, um, possibly link up with Steve and just, you never know what's possible. But we're just going to leave it in God's hands, I guess, at this point. That's pretty much all you can do. And they're not giving out too much information. So I think the best way would to just think in a good way that they're being quiet for a reason. The second uh, birthday that we threw, one for classic first one, this one for us is here. And neither one was able to be there present for their birthday. You know what I mean? That, that hurts, you know what I mean? Throwing a birthday party and the baby's not here. So, you know, we're just trying to keep the awareness out there. Keep, keep you know, celebrating like if they were here with us, you know what I mean? And um, keep our hopes alive. That's all we could do. Leave it in God's hands. We pray, pray, pray. Like, everybody that's praying, believe me, God's hearing your prayers. Like, for real. Because a lot is, is happening, you know what I mean? Maybe not how we want it to happen. But it is happening, I promise you. And I'm going to guarantee you that, you know what I mean? A lot is happening behind the scenes. And um, we we learned it, like how they how the, they, they keep things close to their chest. There's a lot of things that we keep close to our chest as well. Because, you know, uh, like Pamela say, the evil eye, you know, she believes in the evil eye. I do too, man. Because as soon as you do, you have something or just do doing good or something, something's always coming in your path to tear it apart or, you know, stop it or, you know, you know we've we really them. been shut down over and over and over in these past seven months. The more we feel like every time we step to somebody and get uh, good news from them, we get shut down, you know? That, that's heartbreaking, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, you guys, so, yeah, man. As you can see, all the stuff that they got to go through and you could just only imagine the pain that they feel 
you know, we all got mixed emotions in this. And we just supporters and, you know, um, people that care about what's going on. But I could just imagine, you know, their pain being a hundred times worse because this is their blood family. And they don't know where these kids are at. And just the thought of that, you know what I mean? So much love and much prayers to Roro and the Bio family and to these boys. And um, whoever has them boys, whoever knows what's going on with these boys, you guys need to um, come forth and say something, man. It's been too long and it's too, you guys are hurting too many people, you know. Um, this family is hurt over these kids being gone and they've been blamed for it. And it's, it's just not fair. These kids don't deserve it. These people don't deserve it. Nobody deserves this, but God is gonna give us answers. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the video when they sing happy birthday. You guys. thing on that cake for reals for reals and that's what's up shout man. out to Ro and the bio family everybody involved that put this together for my boy sincere man his fifth birthday party um yeah that's amazing man great job um, yeah so as you guys can see man the bio family is still putting in work for these boys they have not stopped since day one which speaks a lot of volume when you got these APs on the other hand, the last people responsible for having um, these boys. not came out and spoke since December 23rd, um, which is just, it's just low bottom of the earth, you know what I mean? Whether if you were involved or not, which I doubt he was not involved because you guys lied, but you know, these boys at least deserve a happy birthday. You guys could have said that, but it's cool, man, because the real ones that love these boys, apparently, you know, is celebrating and turning up for classic and sincere. And at the same time, you guys help spread awareness. Keep, you know, tuned into these boys' story and spread the word to the people amongst you because these boys are still out there. We don't know where they're at. They could be in your local city. They could be in the city next. Your coworker might have seen these boys somewhere. Your neighbor might have seen these boys somewhere. You never know. Every day is spread awareness day. Where are the boys? 